for all that you've done for my family and for us and just uh, welcoming us into the church and allowing us to use the parsonage and just serve the Lord is what we're called to do and we thank you for the privilege. Thank you, uh, Pastor Jim, for your confidence in me and, and all that you've Amen. invested in me. It's because of individuals like Pastor Jim through my life past and no doubt and through my life in the future that have allowed me to grow and mature in the understanding of the Christian faith and understanding of the Bible. And I am where I am today because of individuals like Pastor Jim and like you individuals and as a church collectively. And I do appreciate you very much. The title of the sermon is Take Your Feet Off the Brakes. I specifically read the Bible looking for not necessarily doctrinally conflicting portions of Scripture, but I do look for portions of Scripture that you read, and you really got to read it again to really understand it, because on the top of the, the surface, it seems kind of strange, or so to speak. And our portion of Scripture this morning, or this evening, is somewhat, in, in a sense, kind of strange, kind of... I wouldn't say out there. It's not doctrinally strange. I, I, don't, I, I don't like necessarily debating. I know where I stand. I know what the Bible says, and that's not my goal. I don't want to uh, debate a doctrinally confusing or maybe misleading portion of scriptures. but I like portions of scriptures like this because it's fun, and it, it kind of, we get to see God in a light. We all say God is... is uh, you know, a jokester and, and things like that. And this portion of scripture doesn't necessarily bring out his his uh, ability to joke or so to speak. But this portion of scripture really brings forward the humanity of Jesus. But listen, if you're going to get anything out of this message, we can't just stay isolated on the humanity of Jesus. What am I saying? I'm saying Jesus Christ was a man. He was a man. But with that statement, Jesus Christ was God in the flesh. And if you can wrap your mind around that, you are much smarter than I am. But the reality of the matter is that Jesus Christ was a man. The Bible tells us that he, was, he became a servant. He was obedient. He, he became a man. We know that. But let me just explain something to you that will help relay the message and all this is part of my introduction before we even get to the scripture. Jesus Christ is a man, but he's also God. Amen. And so many times we miss something because we relate Jesus Christ, the God man, and we put him in this finite box of our mind that he doesn't belong in. Our minds cannot comprehend the fullness and the richness and the greatness and the mighty, the mightiest God, Jesus Christ. We can't comprehend that. So with that 